Hey guys, it's Jarrett. I'm coming today to show you how to do a, a blob storage uh, copy. Uh, it's kind of a spin-off of my previous uh, file copy video, as well as sending that file in an email. So I think the majority of this, this portion probably deals more so with the email attachment than a blob, just because the blob and file transfer triggers and actions, the whole API connection themselves are very similar. So, but I'll, I'll go over it still, nonetheless. Um, uh, I got a, someone asked for some help with this, so I figured why not? So let's go ahead and dive into this. First off, you're gonna need a storage account. So in this, we can see that there was already one that was created. Uh, when you create a storage account, there are a couple options, there is a blob, as well as some basic storage accounts. If you do the blob uh, storage account, there will only a, be a blob container option, whereas the other ones offer a blob container as well as a file share. So I would recommend doing a, one of the other options than just a blob so, it kind of, so you have the option. But let's go ahead and start it. We'll need a, a folder here as well as A blob container called test. Oh, no caps. Test. So we'll go ahead and create this blob container. So let's get into our logic app. We're going to create a logic app. It's going to go in this test email blob. And make sure that the location is the same so you're Anytime you're creating anything in Azure, make sure all your locations are identical. Otherwise, you'll run into issues in some cases in which those applications won't see each other. Uh, we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a blob. So when a file gets added to a blob, uh, it'll copy to the file share, and then send an email with the information that was copied, so the, the file that was copied over. Now you can reverse that also in which a uh, file was added to a file share or to a folder in which you copy to the blob and then send an email. Either way is fine. We're just going to do from a blob to a file share to an email. So blank logic app and do a blob trigger. Blob. And come on. Uh, this doesn't matter. I know there's a container in there called test. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to load. There it goes. <laughs> Took it long enough. Okay, so once we get that, we then need to do another blob and then within the action, we need to get the list of blobs. And then we'll do a for each. It's actually not a for each, I just need to get the control, so. Uh, so for each, we'll grab the value, and then we need to get the contents for each of these blobs. Get blob con. Uh, so we are going to specify that specific. So we'll just select the ID. You might be able to do my name, but I want the unique ID in case some other case. But the ID of the files, I think, the best. Once we get that. We will then do a file, Azure file storage, which we'll create, create file here. We're going to go to this location. We're gonna get the name 
and then the file contents. And then last but not least, we are gonna send an email. Something to note here, if you don't have an Office 365 account, you need to do just Office Outlook to send an email. There's a handful of these APIs, so it can get a little crazy. So then we're gonna send an email. Now, something to note here is when setting this up, right? So let's say someone drops a lot of files. I would recommend at the beginning possibly trying to create a step-by-step -step process in which you put all the files possibly in a folder and zip it up and then attaching it to an email would probably be the best instead of what I'm about to do is every time a file is added, it's gonna send an email for each file. So if you want that, this will work perfectly. If not, I would recommend setting up a step-by-step -step process in which you put the files in a folder, zip it up, and attach that. Test, we're gonna add an attachment which is gonna be the name of the file, and then the blob contents, which we got previously. We'll save it, and then we'll run it. So now it's waiting for something to be uploaded. So we're gonna go ahead and upload a file. We'll upload this picture. I don't think I've ever uploaded a picture before, but we'll see if how well it does. It may or may not like the photo. It did, so it worked. I sent the email out, attached the file, as well as if we go into our file share, into this test, it is now there. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns, or if you need more help with Logic Apps. Hopefully, you know, down the road we can get maybe dive into possible um, integrations in which you kind of do like a you get a file and transform it and insert it into a, a database. So hopefully those, that'll get to that point at some point, but at least currently, hopefully this helps. Uh, leave a like, comment. Thanks for watching.